Hello, YouTubers. It's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another 2016 new mainline casting review for Hot Wheels. And we got the uh, Futurismo this time. Uh, so here this is. This is a Hot Wheels Race Team subseries, number 9 of 10, number 9 overall. Um, first seen in P cases. Uh, this aerodynamic electric race car of tomorrow features an all-glass canopy, clear vision to the exposed mechanics, and interchangeable batteries for power on demand. With no need to stop to gas up, this visionary vehicle wins the race to the future. Uh, so there that is. This is an unlicensed model. Let's go ahead and take it out. And here you go. We've got the Hot Wheels race team color scheme going on here. Um, it does have a metal body. It has a plastic uh neon yellow base and then this chrome piece here and a windshield piece so got the trapezoid wheels and there it is um, yeah so the batteries are on the side there let's take a quick look um, under the macro and I think I saw this before. Yeah, if you look really close here, there is a plus and minus. You probably can't really see them. I'm going to try the other side once. Like embossed on the batteries. And you really can't see it because that neon yellow is not letting you see it. Um, here's a close-up look at the steering wheel interior. So, Alright, there's a lightning bolt there. So that's about it. Um, what is this casting based on? Well, I think uh, it's based on an electric car from the future, obviously. But um, I think it's uh, a direct inspiration from this. This is the uh, Faraday Future FF01 concept car. Um, pretty cool thing. It uses a patented battery block that is stackable and easily swappable. Um, but if you go to this website, you should check it out. Uh, Faraday Future. Check this car out. It's kind of a neat, uh, kind of a neat thing, and pretty cool looking, kind of. But you can tell, you know, especially in the front end, I think it's got a bit of inspiration from it. Um, I, I'm guessing, you know, it just took a little inspiration from this vehicle. At least uh, whoever designed this was probably aware of this, this car. Um, but anyway, there's that. Just wanted to share that with you. And then, uh, of course, we're gonna rate this casting, this fantasy model. I wish they would have done the actual uh, FF01. I think that would have been cool. This thing, to me, is just kind of blah and gets a one star. So, as always, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you like the Futurismo? Would you never pick up any casting like this? Um, and, uh, yeah, just let me know what you think. So, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing, all that good stuff, and have a good day.